everybody, welcome back to the Cube after. Come on into the Cube after dark. This is Dave Vellante, and we're excited <laughs> to be here at Lamar on the pier. There's an offshoot of RSAC 2024. Kunal Agarwal is here. He's the founder and CEO of Dope Security. Dave, thank you so much for Kunal, having me. This is amazing. For coming on, man. I love it. Oh, what's amazing is the name of your company. Why'd you start <laughs> Dope Security? So listen, I'm born and raised here in the Bay Area. When you're born and raised in the Bay, you say dope every five minutes. So when I came down here, I was like, I worked at Symantec, I worked at Forceman, I learned everything I know about cyber at this company. A little bit before that, I was a bit of a child hacker. But dope means passion, and it means the best of the best. It means the UX, the design, and the attention to detail. And so for us, dope means everything. And so everything we do has to look and feel dope. I love it. I, I, to that I would say, word. Okay, <laughs> why'd you start the company? So I worked at these big companies for 10 years, and. When I was there, I saw Silence completely become a thorn in Symantec's back. And then CrowdStrike do the same thing. And I thought to myself, look, I love being in a big company, but if I was ever to do a startup, it needs to look and feel dope, of course, but you need to build something that creates such a problem in big companies' backs that they have no choice but to look at you as a competitor. And that's what we did. So explain that. What is that problem? That well, the problem is that to? there's a mainstream area of a cybersecurity that's existed for a very long time, and it's called Secure Web Gateway. And once upon a time, it's essentially a filter. What can you access on the internet? And it was a box sitting in the office, and it would, it's a proxy that would prevent you from accessing, call it thepiratebay.org or pornhub.com. And then that box got moved into a data center. And then what we said is like, that's Gen 3, is let's just get rid of the box entirely. And that's it. You had a box hat in your office, you had a box in the data center, and now it's gone. That's dope security. Okay, but isn't that, Canal, isn't that cloud security? Doesn't Zscaler do that? Well, think about it, right? If you use Zscaler on your laptop right now, you're rerouting all of your internet traffic, literally everything, and I mean everything, to their data center. That's crazy. Like Netflix.com, everything is being rerouted there. And what we basically said is, that's a really bad model. It's like you're taking an airplane flight. Would you fly from San Francisco to LA and stop over in New York for a security check? <laughs> like, why would you do that? Okay, but can't you put like pops all over the Great. place? Isn't that what they're Sounds doing? Sounds good, let's move from San Francisco <laughs> to LA and then we'll fly back to San Francisco. But it's the reality, right? When you're accessing a server, why should you do anything but fly direct? If you could fly private everywhere, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course, you know. I'd encrypt everything if I could, if there was no penalty. There you go. I'd fly private everywhere if it was cost effective. Of and that's what we do for people. We give them a cost effective, super performance solution that is the best of the best secure web gateway in the world. So what's your background? Are so you, my you... background is I'm a little bit of a child hacker. I used to be into hacking when I was a little kid. I almost went to jail for hacking the school grading system. And then I went from there to Berkeley, UC Berkeley. And from there I went to what we like to call University of California Symantec for my master's degree. <laughs> and from there I had all my vice presidents become my professors and teach me so much about cybersecurity and that's where this came from. Okay, so how do you solve this problem of flying direct to the point and it cost effectively? Well, instead of having a pop, imagine that every single laptop in your company is a pop. Well, then you don't have the pops anymore. Every device is the security point. So now everyone is truly fly direct. Is this like Napster for security? <laughs> It's more simple than that, actually. It's, you have a proxy that's sitting in your data center right, right now. There's no longer a proxy in the data center. It's now on your laptop. So it's way faster, way more performance. Essentially, it's an HTTP2 SSL inspection proxy sitting on your device. So how'd you fund the company? Where are you at? Yeah, so I mean, look, you know, we have customers of all shapes and sizes. Everything from 100, 200 people, less than 100, to people in the Fortune 100 with hundreds of thousands of users. And the beautiful thing about it is our sweet spot is 1,000 to 5,000. But Google recognized that, so another one from Mountain View. So we're based in Mountain View, California. They loved it. I'm, of course, from the Bay Area, and they said, look, let's do a partnership together. So they invested uh, and, and led our round, and Boltzart was our seed investor, so we have a cool cool couple of people in this. So you, where are you at in the cycle? You, it's just well, a seed? Uh, yeah, or? so, I mean, no, no, we're sooner than okay. that. So this is an A round company. But for me, I don't look at it as A as where you are. It's about what we've done. And what we've done is we built part one of a trilogy. Part one is Secure Web Gateway. Part two we released last week, which is CASI. And part three is Return of the VPN. So it's actually a Star Wars trilogy. It's a new swig. CASB strikes back, 
and then Return of the VPN. I'm, I'm more Lord of the Rings guy now. <laughs> but give me the vision. What's the vision for the company? You, obviously, you, 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 you start, you know, you got big ambitions. Well, where I, do you want to take this thing? I mean, I have never been more excited about anything I've done than Dome Security, but I was the same way in the passion that we brought to the company and Symantec and Forza, the same thing. I pulled all-nighters all the time. But at Dope, our goal is to be the number one. And our goal is to be on the dollar Dope on the New York Stock Exchange. That's our goal. So I'll be here in 10 years with you, in this decade hopefully, and we'll have that. Actually, we'll be on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. How about that? In the Cube studio. Let's make it Seriously. happen, huh? Yeah, we're going to make it happen. I'll be there Wait, with you. You, you have my number, we'll you just, make it happen. You just got to believe. Well, we, that's <laughs> dope, right? What's happening at RSA for you guys? RSA, we have a lot of customers here, right? And a lot of them are already people that are there, and some of them are potential customers. And for us, it's all about letting people like yourself know something new. Hey, there's a new way of doing things. There's a fly direct way of doing things, and that's the difference. Do you feel like security's broken and it just needs a do-over? No, I mean, I think that it needs, it needs to evolve over time, right? So when I look at cybersecurity of a decade ago, it's stodgy, it's older, it's different. When I look at what we built, for example, it's just the same thing that was there before, but it's being done in a much more modern, performant way with a much better user experience and UI. That's it. Do you, do you think AI gives the advantage to the attackers or to the defenders, and how do you think that, how do you see that playing out? Well, look, I mean, if we take the latest and greatest AI technology as large language models, right? So I'll give you something that we're doing. We use that in the form of what we call as a CASB. And then in a simple terminology for you, really what it is is we're telling a customer what is every single public file sitting inside their Google or OneDrive 365. And, and, and it's a simple product, but what it does is so powerful because it uses large language models to classify those files and tell you, is it PII, is it a credit card, is it this or is that? In the past, we had to use regexes. So a 16-digit number is a credit card number. That's not the way the world works, right? A 16-digit number could be a barcode for all you know. And this is a way of using LLMs, AI, to actually further enhance a product rather than just think about it and say, hey, how do we do something different? I, I want to understand it. So you're saying like di digits, obviously we understand them, we can encrypt them, but, but language is it's, different. Yeah, so it like, needs a different approach, let me give a good saying. example, right? So you all use 365 or Google? at your company? We use Google. So use Google Workspace. That means that you have Google Drive. Yeah, yeah. So do you know in your company, in Silicon Cube, how many files are publicly shared and publicly no. exposed? No, when you said that, it resonated with me because it's opaque it's, to us. You have no idea. We and don't by know. the way, Google doesn't make it any easier either. They're really bad at it. They They're actually not. don't tell you. So right. what if I could give you a tool that's a one-click activation and it immediately tells you everything that's public? But how would you know if you have 700,000 files and only 10,000 are public, where do you focus your attention on? And that's where the LLM comes in. It's able to take the text, understand it, and use it to say, is this sensitive or not? Well, and then what? Because Well, I, then I'd what like... do you do, right? You have two options. One, you say, that's all good. Or two, with one click, you can make it private and you can make it unshared from the entire world. That's it. Ah, and that's what I would do. And if, they, if people on the outside want access, they then I can... I can, kind of, I can almost like start over. Exactly. Right? And right now, to this day, I have we have healthcare companies, VCs, this thing, that thing, big companies of massive size, like or even small companies, like a hundred people, maybe even five people, that have found value in this because they have no idea what's public in their Google Drive. And if I were the CISO, I'd say, let's do this, wipe it clean. And then anybody on the outside that needs access, they can request it. You got it, and it, that's my goal, is with Dope Security, I want to make this possible for anyone in this entire room to understand what is it that we do differently. Yeah, because now I'm back in control. Exa but it's something that's colloquially understandable. This isn't some crazy complex thing. What's public in my Google Drive? Anyone can relate to that, right? Yeah, that's what CASB is? <laughs> that's right? what it is. I mean, but nobody on. knew that. Right, oh, what's it? This is acronym soup. <laughs> it's acronym soup. Like what is, truly, right? what do we do, right? I tell people, we're parental controls for your employees. We block Pornhub, we block malicious sites, and by the way, we find out what's public inside your Google Drive. That's it. Amazing. Hey, congratulations on all the hey, success, thank man. thank you so much. Appreciate you coming on. I hope to be here again to, soon. Uh, I'd love to have you back. We'll see you on the new floor of the New York and Stock Exchange. And we will see you in a decade. Yeah. 
doing Dollar if Dope. Not, if not before. If not All before. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, hey, keep it right there. This is Dave Vellante. We're at Lamar, at the, the RSA Conference 2024. We're right back after this short break. You're watching theCUBE.